Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm behind a pumping station in Harvey, Louisiana with my good friend Craig tonight. And he's fishing with a night crawler for some cats. And I'm going to be fishing with this bag of red stuff on these two rods here for carp. All right, we're fishing with strawberry corn. And let's show you how I made it. All right, to make strawberry corn, you need a can of corn, obviously. This is whole kernel corn. We're gonna drain this. I highly advise that you drain your corn. Don't want too much liquid. As you can see, I'm saving the liquid. I'll use that for something else some other time. Now you need a Ziploc bag. This is a quart size bag. You don't need anything bigger than that for a can of corn. Get it in there without making a mess on your mom's table. This is actually my table, not my mom's table, but I don't want to make a mess on this table either. Now you need a box of strawberry jello. Cheap stuff, works just fine. Now we're gonna put this whole thing in there. I'm just gonna dump it in. Now, the main reason why you don't want the liquid, the extra liquid in here, is because it'll just make it even messier and a, a lot of your Jello stuff will form outside of the corn. You want the kernels to soak up as much as possible. Look at that, go red. Man. Look, check that out. It's going nice and red. Now, if you like, you could double down on your strawberry, you can put two of these in there. But I'm just gonna go with one because I think it's gonna be fine. And what we're gonna do is just kind of get some of this oxygen out, zip it up and put it in the fridge overnight. Give it a chance to soak up all that good flavor. And then we're gonna go fishing with it. <laughs> like right now. Small, huh? Yeah, a little bit cat. Yeah, a little bit catfish down. A little tiny blue cat. A blue cat? A little blue cat, yeah. A little yeah. baby blue cat. Hey, if y'all fly on the line. I was about to show you something and he caught a little blue cat. We're going to use this box of hooks. There's 500 hooks in here. It's coming from banggood.com. Now I'm going to show you this closer at the house right now. And here it is. This is what we're reviewing tonight. There are 500 hooks in this little box. These hooks are perfect for carp fishing, buffalo fishing, and any other kind of rough fish where you're going to need a little hook, not a giant one. This is the biggest one right here, perfect for boilies and other pellets. And second to largest is the hook that we're using tonight. I'm gonna to show you out where I'm fishing this hook, but here in the light of the kitchen, that's the size I'm using tonight. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well you know how to count, ten. Ten different sizes here. They go from large to small. Now a lot of these right here would be great for different size boilies and pellets, but as you go smaller you're gonna be able to use different hook baits. Like you could do a couple of kernels or one kernel of corn or some other kind of hook bait on a hook that size. And as you go smaller, we're just gonna go for random hooks here. I can't, they're getting so small, I can't pick them up with my old fingers. Here we go. Put a maggot on that, put a few maggots on that. I know that sounds disgusting and you could do uh, leeches or waxies. Here's the smallest one. That is super small. How would you love to catch a monster fish on that with a single maggot? All right, so if you're interested in this, as always, you can check it out by clicking on the link below. And let's go catch those fish. All right, as you saw, it goes from big to very small. <clears throat> like I said, a lot of these would be good for coarse fishing or rough fish from carp to buffalo suckers and 
other things. So this is the second to largest hook here. I don't know if you can see it, but here are the really big ones. So I'm taking out of here. And I think this hook here is gonna be a perfect size for corn. I could go even smaller, but I wanna put a lot of corn on this tonight. And like I said before, back at the house, a lot of these hooks would be really good for hair rigs. I wish I had some maggots. I would love to fish with maggots. So let's, uh, let's tie this rig up. Now this rig is kind of already ready to go. It just needs the hook on it. I've got a three ounces of, um, or no, I'm sorry, two ounces of lead on a trolley with a bead and then 20 pound fluorocarbon to my hook. I'm gonna put my hook on and I'm gonna do the same to the other one. The other one is the same exact rig <clears throat> and we're gonna put as much corn on there as possible. One thing I wanna point out while I'm doing this, the only different thing tonight with my bait is when I first made this, I put one box of Jello, but later on I put an extra box. So. I would suggest if you want to make strawberry corn, use two boxes of Jello and get the cheap Jello too. So I'm going to put this on with a cinch knot. I'm not going to do hair rigs tonight. I'm just going to fish hook baits. And I have it on good authority that there are carp here, but I tell you what, it is thick with spotted gar here tonight. So we'll see what goes on. All right, I'm gonna get my hands messy tonight. This has been marinating for a, quite some time now. It still looks good. Put on as many kernels as possible. Just wanna load this hook up. I'm also going to make a ground bait or a chum, if you will, out of different things that I got out of a discount bin at some store. We use cake mix and oatmeal, but I'm not going to go into great detail about it because I don't want this video to be super long with this crazy bit about making ground bait. Another time we'll go into making ground bait out of cheap grocery store items. All right, let's get out there. So I've got one, so I've got one rig ready to go. And I know I said I was going to make ground bait and I'm about to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and put this out and I will just like throw bits of ground bait out around where my bait is and I'm not going to do this super far. Just toss it just out there. It's a little deep here, maybe about eight feet. Whoa. And I'm gonna kind of reel it in just a hair, just straighten out, get my bait away from my lead. I'm gonna put it on my bite alarm. I'm mixing my ground bait and Craig just caught a fish right next to me. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. I'm using water from here and it's coming out this pipe that's right in front of me. Can you hear it? It's making you... Here's another little blue cat. Is it blue or a channel? I can't see it right yet. What kind of stuff you get there? Like dog No, this is a cheap cake mix, oatmeal. Instant mashed potatoes and jello, cheap strawberry jello. I'm just gonna mix it up till it is moist and sticky. No more dry stuff. Let's see this fish you got. Yeah. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a nice little channel cat right there. See if I can keep it still for you. Get this net. I got a, I caught a fish. Oh right, well, wait, I can just get him in here. Yeah. The strawberry corn on the little bang good, bang good hook. Yeah. It's not a carp that I was looking for. Not even going to bother putting this on the unhooking mat or we're putting it in the sling. There you go, not even a pound. Nice. Whoa. Here we go, we're gonna let this one go. All 
right, so I've baited back up. That's quite a bit of quite a bit of corn, I know, but it'll work. And I'm not fishing too far out, just about 20 feet towards the uh, pumping station. Oh, this is a nice fish. I almost lost the... You got lucky there. <laughs> We're going to need the, the landing net for this. You get that landing net ready? Yeah. Oh, this is a nice carp. Huh? Yeah. Finally. That, this was a long wait, too. Okay, I'm ready. It's either a carp or a buffalo. It's a carp. Carp, huh? Yeah. It's a Get a move, yeah. Common carp. Oh, pop your line. Well, it's a nice screaming run he did. Yes, finally success. Hey. Results. There you go. Strawberry corn. Bang good hooks. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, it's right here. Yep. So this this fish almost ran off with my rod. <coughs> he was barely hooked too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. So what can I do now? Let's see if he what he weighs. You go ahead and get the uh, right there is the sling. And we're going to turn it on. <coughs> Just bear with me, people. <coughs> <clears throat> he's just under eight pounds we're gonna say he's about seven and a half he's definitely over seven pounds so that is awesome. That's nice. Wow, you really got to hold that up high to weigh yeah. in that sling. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. All right, 7 point. All right, 7.98. And now we're going to release him out of the sling. I'm going to do this to try and revive him. <clears throat> He's only been out of the water for just a few minutes, so he should kick back. There he goes. There he goes. He's kicking. See you later, buddy. All right. It is pretty late, and I got to go home, but I'm stoked. If, if certain things weren't going on in my life right now i would just stay out here and fish but he's got to go do stuff i gotta go do stuff later when the sun comes up so unfortunately i gotta go but i'm super happy that i caught a common carp over here behind the pumping station in harvey and i caught it on strawberry corn homemade bait <laughs> yay it's awesome it's a great idea. You should try it out. Carp love strawberry. So do catfish. I also caught a catfish on strawberry corn. And, you know, the hooks from banggood.com work just fine for both fish, the catfish and the carp. And I'm looking forward to doing some uh, DIY, DIY maggot 
things. <laughs> I'm going to grow some maggots and try fishing with maggots because some of those hooks are super small and would work, work great for different size maggots and probably waxies when I go up north this year to fish. So yeah, check that out if you want. There's a link down in the description for that hook set. Can't believe there's 500 hooks in that little box, but that's what they say. I'm not going to sit there and count them, but I found them to be strong and sharp and I find myself to be super tired though I have a lot of caffeine coursing in me. I'm going to have to shut up here soon, so I should say this. See you next time.